Morning, guys. How's it going out there? Um, still sick, still fighting it, guys. So bear with me. Um, uh, not a financial advisor, not financial advice. Make sure you guys do your research out there, okay? Uh, I said that in uh, you guys know how I say that at the beginning of every video, right? Obviously, disclaimer. You know, it is what it is. Um, somebody made a comment. Uh, it was like last week or something like that, and I'd forgotten about it. Stupidest comment of the week had to be. They said, as soon as someone says, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, turn the video off. So you should be taking financial advice from YouTubers? That's unbelievably stupid. Anyways, um, <laughs> let's have a look at the market, guys. Gear Bears kind of crashed things. You can always count on, uh, count on Gear Bear to flip the market. So here we go, guys. Now, what I would tell you is I put out a short yesterday about it. When I see red, guys, it's I'm bullish. It's opportunity, right? ADA, AGIX, SAND, ALGO, CASPA, HBAR, VRA, uh, VRA, XRP, opportunity, Myria, fantastic opportunities to DCA, right? Look at this. All Whatever project you're in, oh, Jasmine seems to be holding up really well against, against it. But uh, everything else, guys. Whatever your project, it's a fantastic DCA opportunity today. It's a blessing in disguise. So don't miss the don't miss the boat. Uh, and as always, guys, if you want to support the channel, click the join button down below. Uh, it only costs four dollars ninety nine cents. The member site has been growing like crazy over the last couple of weeks. Um, you get exclusive members only content over there. Uh, I'm, I just uploaded uh, another new project, very, very new project, micro, micro, micro cap gem, um, like two weeks old, uh, that I am super, super bullish on. Can't wait to get in on it. Um, so I released that to the members yesterday. Uh, if you want access to that kind of stuff, then you definitely have to join the members side. Um, so, yeah, and uh, you also, you know, you, you get to book one-on-one -on -one video calls with me where we can go over your portfolio, we can talk crypto, we can help you with an uh, exit strategy for the bull run, all that fun stuff. All right, guys, let's get into the news. What is going on? What the hell is going on out there? There it is. The big announcement is uh, the Binance settlement, $4 billion, courtesy of uh, whoever uh, and team. DOJ to announce Binance settlement in press conference today. Bloomberg U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland will hold a press conference at 3 p.m. Eastern to announce separate but related cryptocurrency enforcement actions, the Department of Justice said in a statement. The announcement will uh, involve a settlement with Binance, according to two people familiar with the matter. The Justice Department is seeking more than $4 billion from the cryptocurrency exchange as part of the resolution of a years-long investigation, Bloomberg News reported. Unbelievable. You can now apparently buy your way out of uh, criminal charges. Binance CEO CZ in discussions to step down as criminal investigation ends. Source is the for uh, Forbes. Uh, I would imagine that if this is true, then it was it is likely part of the settlement agreement with the DOJ for CZ to step down uh, so that they will forego criminal charges against him. I would imagine that would be the case. <clears throat> Quick shout out to our channel sponsor, L Bank. Guys, L Bank Futures, new listing, Grok uh, Perpetuals with up to 20% leverage now live on L Bank. Uh, start trading, guys. I do my copy trading over there. You can do your leverage trading up to 20x. Uh, you can do your spot trading if you just want to hold there. L Bank is really good for uh, being an early lister of new projects. Uh, definitely why I enjoy using their platform. Very easy to use. I did a tutorial video on it. Uh, go check that out. And uh, yeah, use the link down below and you get uh, special bonuses too. So check it out, guys. Link it will be in the description. Uh, thank you, Gary Gensler, for another amazing buying opportunity. I'll continue to be greedy when others are fearful. Exactly. That is the mindset you have to have on red days, guys. That is what it's all about. Kraken uh, co-founder blasts SEC an ongoing legal battle over crypto securities. Kraken co-founder Jesse Powell has strongly criticized the United States Securities Exchange Commission uh, in response to the recent lawsuit filed against crypto exchange 
uh, his crypto exchange for alleged securities violations. Powell took to social media, specifically X, uh, on November 21st to express his discontent with the SEC's actions. In his scathing post, Powell referred to the SEC as the U.S. top decal, a term used uh, in the tech industry to disparage someone seen as hindering progress. Okay. Uh, he also claimed that the SEC was not satisfied with the $30 million settlement that Kraken had agreed to pay in February. This settlement has been reached in, in response to previous charges by the SEC, which accused Kraken of failing to register the offered sales of their crypto asset stake as a service program. As part of the agreement, Kraken had agreed to pay $30 million in fines and cease uh, offering crypto staking products and uh, and services to U.S. customers. In a subsequent post, Powell issued a warning to other crypto companies advising them to avoid the U.S. war zone to steer clear of costly legal battles. <clears throat> he asserted that the $30 million payment would only buy them about 10 months of respite before the SEC returned to demand more. Powell argued that the SEC was well aware that the uh, genuine legal battle could cost well over $100 million in valuable time. The SEC's latest lawsuit, filed on November 20th, accused Kraken of multiple securities law violations, including the failure to register as a securities broker and alleged commingling of customer and corporate funds. Uh, they basically copy and pasted their lawsuit against uh, Coinbase and just replaced the name Coinbase with Kraken. Uh, Kraken's response was swift, with a spokesperson denying the listing of unregistered securities and described the lawsuit as disappointing. The exchange vowed to defend its position in court, asserting that the commingling accusations were merely the result of Kraken spending fees it had already earned. Importantly, the SEC did not allege any further user funds were missing. Jesse Powell's vocal criticism of the SEC underscores the ongoing tension between crypto companies and regulatory authorities in the United States. As the crypto industry continues to evolve, it faces increasing scrutiny and legal challenges, prompting some companies to reconsider their uh, operations within the country. So, one does have to wonder about the timing of this lawsuit it's no coincidence that they're just wrapping up uh there is a settlement wrapping up with uh binance and then they launch this against kraken um and, you know they named like 16 tokens in this lawsuit as well trying to get them as uh passed as securities so that they can leverage that decision into other cases uh so here's the thing guys as a community, we need to get behind Kraken. We need to support Kraken uh, in this, just like we do Coinbase. John Deaton has started another uh, amicus brief. He wants everyone to uh, sign up again, just like they did for Ripple, just like he did for Coinbase. He wants to join this legal battle, and he's going to fight against uh, the SEC with Kraken uh, as well on behalf of us uh, investors. And uh, this is what I would say, guys. We have to get behind them. We have to support it. Go over to John Deaton's page and sign up. Uh, that being said, if if Kraken does decide to harm the entire crypto industry by settling this out and agreeing that the cryptos that the SEC has named in this lawsuit are securities, then we need to, everyone needs to stop using Kraken altogether, shut it down, give them no business if they harm the entire industry by doing that um they've i'm on the fence about this because they have um they have caved to the sec earlier this year uh if they do it again i guys it's going to devastate every single project that the sec named there's like 16 projects algorand solana cardano uh the list goes on and on uh matic and so, and so on um, uh, mana sandbox right so what I would say is this, we need to support them, guys. If they fight, we need to support them. If they give up, we need to stop using their exchange and let them sink, let them go under as a business for for their actions. It sucks, guys. It's a bad spot for them to be in. I'm not going to say that it's not because I know it's going to cost a lot of money to fight the SEC. But at the end of the day, 
if you decide to harm the entire crypto asset class by by agreeing that those are securities, I say we boycott you. But as long as you fight Kraken, we will support you. We will be behind you. All right, what's going on over here? Department of Justice announces crypto enforcement actions today. Guys, expect some volatility in the market today. This afternoon, the U.S. Department of Justice will reveal major cryptocurrency actions today. According to the latest report from Bloomberg Attorney General Merrick Garland, it's slated to announce enforcement initiatives alongside the heads of Treasury, the Department uh, sorry, the Deputy Attorney General's Office and the CFTC. Uh, details are minimal regarding the nature of the cases or specific targets, but the Department of Justice said the joint press conference will unveil separate but related cryptocurrency enforcement actions. Speculation surfacing regarding DOJ's yet-to-release crypto actions. Speculation is swirling over whether major players like Binance and Coinbase uh, could be implicated in wrongdoing several probes related to money laundering and sanction violations have already been underway involving ma major exchanges. The DOG of uh, D. <laughs> Sorry, guys, had to cough there. The DOJ event follows a series of recent landmark stablecoin seizures tied to criminal cryptocurrency infractions. Additionally, on Monday, Tether disclosed it had frozen $225 million worth of USDT tokens utilized by an international human trafficking uh, operation. Tether assisted law enforcement, including the DOJ and Secret Service, uh, in, map, uh, in mapping flows from the Southeast Asia-based uh, pig butchering scam ring. In addition, the company framed the large-scale seizure as a, an example of cryptocurrency enabling Unpre unprecedented transparency uh, around illicit financing. Today's announcement and la uh, announcements land as industry oversight uh, ramps up on multiple fronts. Just this week, the SEC filed charges against crypto exchange Kraken. So, guys, this is a perfect example of this is this right here is why uh, there's a lot of people in Congress or in you know in in the American government and stuff like that that are fighting against crypto, right? They don't want it because of the transparency, guys, because of this here, uh, right here. Tether assisted law enforcement, including the DOJ and Secret Service and mapping flows, like all this here, the fact that you can track these transactions to elicit stuff like human trafficking and, and uh, bribery and all that kind of stuff, it can all be tracked on blockchain. This is why... People like Elizabeth Warren want to get rid of crypto. You think they want you to be able to catch them when what they're doing? Of course not. Of course not. Right? This is this is a clear pathway to catching every single celebrity, every single one percent person out there, government uh, influencer, whoever it is that's doing illicit things with their with money, whether it's human trafficking, drugs, whatever, bribery. It's, it can all be tracked on the blockchain. This is why they want it gone, guys. It doesn't take a genius. The rest of the world is embracing cryptocurrency and blockchain technology while the use, while some specific uh, uh, politicians in the States are trying everything they can to fight against it. Now, why do you think that is? Hmm? Because the United States government and the Canadian government are two of the most corrupt governments in the entire world. They're ruled by money, right? So that's the problem right here, guys. This is the problem, right? They'll be able to track what you're doing. And they don't want that. No, no, don't track. No, let's use cash. Let's keep using cash, right? Because then you don't know what I'm doing. Exactly. Then you don't know why I make uh, $200,000 a year as a, as a, as a government uh, official, but yet I'm worth $80 million somehow, right? Hmm. Mm hmm. Exactly. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Check out L Bank. Link is in the description. Smash a like, smash a subscribe button. I'm incredibly, incredibly sick. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice. I'm unbelievably sick. Um, but I still got like 12 videos yesterday. So um, yeah, smash a like, smash a subscribe button, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.